we are going to be diving into Supply Pike's app for Walmart, specifically focusing around uh, the compliance features for Squep and OTIF. So before we start, we always like to introduce ourselves. My name is Danielle. I am a Supplier Wiki researcher. So I help organize and research some of the content that you see or can see on our Supplier Wiki website. We create free educational content in the form of articles, eBooks, cheat sheets, and webinars, uh, just to help bridge the gap between retailers and suppliers. And then leading our fast pitch today is the incredible Ryan Petty, Ryan is the Senior Product Manager here at Supply Pike. He has put many years behind our Walmart product, and there's just so much experience and insight that he brings, so really looking forward to the perspective that he brings today. Okay, so last thing before we get into the content, if you are new to our webinars or have never heard of Supply Pike, we are a Northwest Arkansas-based software company. Uh, who helps suppliers reduce revenue loss by detecting compliance issues and fighting them through business logic and automation. We do this in a lot of different ways and with multiple different retailers like Walmart, Target, Amazon, and Kroger. Today, we are going to uh, be specifically focusing around Walmart. And just a little shout out, we work with a lot of great suppliers across the box in almost every product category. We have some of them up here today and if your logo is not up here, we would love to see it at some point. We love to work with suppliers to help reduce revenue loss and win back money owed. And we would love to do that for you. And with that, I will hand it over to Ryan to get into today's content. Yeah. Thanks, Danielle. And thanks, everyone, for joining. Um, so we'll be talking about Walmart compliance today and our solution on it. Uh, some of you may know there's been a lot of recent changes to Walmart's compliance requirements, um, both to the SQEP program as well as their on-time and full program, both of which our solution covers. So just kind of a reminder that the game is kind of always changing, um, and we try to help our suppliers kind of navigate these changing waters as best we can, and our solution is always up to date with these changes um, as they're rolling out so that we can best support you. Um, so uh, to sort of start with our solution and what we primarily do, um, there's a lot of things we do. We want to help you with fine prevention. We also try to help you with fine recovery, especially when things are invalid fines. Um, so part of what we do is automatically spot invalid fines by tying together multiple data sources and trying to, you know, detect when Walmart's sort of outcome of non-compliance could be wrong. So uh, we automatically sort of separate and identify those. Um, we also help you dispute with just a couple of clicks. We gather all of the, the required data to submit OTIF or SQEP disputes um, and package that up into a file um, so that everything is there for you. You don't have to prepare these disputes. Um, with OTIF specifically, you can even just click a button to submit the, the dispute directly from our solution. So you don't have to go into high radius, look for those invoices and fill out their sort of tedious dispute process. You can do those OTIF disputes directly in our app. Um, and then I talked about fine prevention with compliance. Most fines we see are valid. Um, so usually like 10 to 15% of compliance fines we see is invalid often, um, leaving the rest as valid charges. And so we want to help you understand, you know, what are the key drivers of your fines so that you can see the root causes and then actually take action and prevent those going forward to reduce those OTF fines. So skip the slide there. Uh, SQEP, um, it's very similar. We sort of bring in data from different sources into one spot so that you can easily detect kind of your, your largest drivers of the, these SQEP fines, the re primary reasons you're getting these charges, um, also the ability to kind of root cause and dive into those defects and understand why they happened. Um, we also have, as Danielle mentioned, part of our supplier wiki, 
uh, suite is very detailed education on what these defects are, um, what you may have done to sort of incur the charge and what you can do to prevent that charge going forward. So all of that is sort of offered up uh, within this SQEP solution. And with that, um, we'll quit talk, showing slides and actually dive into the features, which is where I'm always excited to show. So um, this is our OTIF app. We'll dive into SQEP here shortly, but we would handle anything OTIF where it's the US stores program um, or Walmart's US e-com OTIF program. Um, so that would be covered in this OTIF solution. Um, on our dashboard is where we want to give you just very basic visibility to, um, you know, find you have received over time, sort of broken out by metric. We also project your finds before they occur. So you can clearly see based on your score, based on the non-compliance for a time period that has not yet been invoiced, you can clearly see what is coming. So it's not kind of a surprise when you get the bill. Um, which hopefully you won't get the bill um, if you use our app and we can help you prevent those charges. You can also see your scores over time. There's a lot of reporting that you can do. You can export your PO or line data, sort of this trending data over time. Um, if you have multiple six digits, we have a vendor report that kind of brings it all together. You can also do things like select multiple months at a time. So you could key into specific weeks, um, individual weeks, individual months, or even multiple months and weeks. So um, lots of options to kind of select the time period that you want to zone in on. Um, the rest of the dashboard really keys in on your performance with OTIF. So you can uh, clearly see your performance per metric. In this case, I do have a prepaid uh, environment up, but we also would be able to show you a collect scores as well if you're a collect supplier. So either way, we kind of got you covered. So you can see high level information about each OTIF metric, your score, kind of the detailed breakdown. If you had actual fines or projected fines, we would show that here. And like I mentioned, we also kind of automatically identify invalid fines. So in this case, we're in full, we're saying there were $2,000 worth of cases that were shipped according to ASNs, which is one of those extra data sources we pull in, uh, but Walmart is claiming they did not receive them. So we wanna highlight those discrepancies as areas to potentially look at disputing and trying to recover. So um, the rest of the dashboard is kind of just high level KPIs on case counts um, and performance. You can also kind of see the accountability breakdown on the OTIF dashboard of what was supplier accountability versus Walmart. Um, so the dashboard, like I said, is to give you the kind of bird's eye view of what's happening. Um, you can break this down by nine digit um, switch between different six digits, et cetera. So a lot of options there. Um, I will dive into our orders page, and this is where you can see all of your orders for the selected time period and selected vendor. Um, and specifically, we highlight uh, the POs that are not compliant. And this is where you can start to see uh, that we do tied data in, we'll actually go over to the in full tab and look at the not in full POs. Um, and for example, on these not in full POs, for each PO, you can see the number of cases that were ordered, how many cases were not in, in full, um, but then also what was shipped according to the ASN versus what was received in the OTIF app. So. A lot of times this is where we see Walmart miss receiving errors and uh, you can automatically kind of spot these discrepancies. You can even filter for it by sort of filtering for any POs with ASN to receiving discrepancies and have that list kind of immediately visible with sort of the impact of that scenario. We also pull received data in from other sources. Right now it's DSS, although since DSS is going away with Walmart, we're switching that to a different data source. 
Um, but it's just another data point that we're trying to find any kind of discrepancy where Walmart may have incorrectly given you that fine. Um, so that is kind of what you get on the list view, a lot of details about these POs to quickly get an idea of what happened. If there's a PO you want to identify more about, you can click into that PO and kind of view a uh, details page for this PO. So you've got all the primary information about the PO, any compliance issues um, and details around that compliance issue. And I will say too, if you're a prepaid supplier, we pull in your Walmart delivery appointments. Um, so you can see the carrier that delivered that PO. You can see when the appointment was scheduled. Um, if you or your carrier submitted any callback request to try to move the delivery appointment because maybe Walmart didn't have an appointment in the window, um, when you su submit those callback requests, we would pull that in as well to try to, again, help you root cause and understand okay, this one might have been late because uh, there was not an appointment available in the window. You can even see Walmart's response to those callback requests. Um, so uh, for collect suppliers, we'd actually have the routing request that you submit, including the timing of when you submitted that routing request. If you submitted multiple routing requests on a PO, we'd have that full history. Uh, we even have transportation portal tickets for collect suppliers. If you have to file tickets when Walmart misses a pickup. So really all of the detail you can imagine on what happened on this PO can, is available on this PO details page. There's also kind of line level performance um, for you know, on time as well as not in full. Um, so really detailed information. You can see cancel indicators and cancel reason codes. So a lot, a lot of info with just kind of a click away into any PO. Um, so this is same concept sort of on the on time side. For on time, we focus the columns really around timing. So what was the must arrive by date, the window, when did it actually arrive? And again, that appointment information, who delivered it, uh, the type of delivery. So all of this is kind of available with the click. Um, and can be downloaded. So this gives you a quick idea of you know, what happened on these POs. And um, I'll also show you what you can do from our uh, orders page, which is actually submit disputes. So if we look back at a past month on in full, we can see there was actually a dispute submitted for November's OTIF fine. It, you can see the amount disputed, amount accepted. Um, and so you have that quick visibility to what you've disputed. I'll go to another month that has not yet been disputed. And so you can see here uh, kind of the summary of what was charged, what we found is possibly invalid and in that not disputed status. Um, we also kind of advise on the best timing of submitting disputes because we've seen across uh, hundreds and thousands of disputes, what is the optimal kind of time window to getting the most recovery back on these fines. So we'll kind of give you some indications of when to dispute these months as well. Um, but all it takes to submit a OTIF dispute from our app is we've got all the non-compliant orders here for not in full. Um, we recommend disputing all POs uh, to maximize your potential recovery. So you just select the POs, you click this dispute button, and then we will kind of prep the entire dispute for you. We'll create that Excel attachment that High Radius requires with all the required columns. We'll also fill out kind of dispute reasons. Um, and what language we recommend, again, to maximize recovery. You can change the language if you like, um, but this is just kind of a checkout screen. And then all you have to do is click Submit Dispute, and this would automatically get sent and created in High Radius, which is the portal that you dispute these compliance charges in. So that's all it takes to dispute. Go to the month, select the POs, click Dispute, and you're done. Um, so... That's all it takes. And then you can, you know, make sure you're getting every invalid fine back across all of your months of OTIF invoices. 
Um, in the near future, this will be a quarterly process since Walmart's just moved to quarterly invoicing for OTIF fines. Um, I'll show you to our disputes page where you can actually track your existing disputes in progress. So you can see every dispute that was submitted here, um, view that status, which is updated nightly. Um, you can see high level stats of what's been disputed overall. And like I said, win rate, we typically see between 10 to 15% of compliance fines is invalid. So this is kind of an average that we see if you're disputing the entire fine. Um, you can also dive into these individual uh, disputes and see the details of what High Radius uh, responded with. You can also download your invoice PDF, um, but as well as especially look at that response um, on these disputes. So um, that is kind of the recovery side. It's very easy to submit compliance disputes, track your disputes until you're hopefully paid back on what is invalid. On the valid fines, um, I'll just real quick show one more thing here before we go over to SQEP. We also have this very detailed root cause analysis feature. Um, so you can break down your compliance and supply chain data from all of these perspectives. So for prepaid suppliers, um, you know, delivering on time is very important. A lot of suppliers use multiple carriers. Here, you can break down performance by carrier. So you can actually hold these different carriers accountable for their specific performance. So you could see it, you know, for whatever time period you wanted, we would show you performance by carrier and your actual fine amount you received from that carrier's uh, deliveries. We've even some seen some suppliers who kind of charge the carrier 3PL back based on this data that you can provide to them that shows them you know, their performance and the fines you actually receive related to it. You can also go one step deeper and actually click on a specific carrier and pull up an OTIF scorecard for that carrier. And so then you can really track their on-time scores over time, the fines you received related to their deliveries over time. Uh, you can, you know, of course, break down individual time periods and see overall performance and details. You can even break it down by Walmart DC so you can figure out which lanes they may be struggling with um, and share that to the carrier. It's downloadable. If they want kind of a list of POs that were non-compliant where they may have missed the window, you can see that individual PO list they delivered you can download it and share it to them. So it really helps you hold those third parties in your supply chain accountable with this kind of one-click data to access this, this view. Um, just to go a little deeper, you can also look at sort of OTIF performance by item. So obviously, if you're having fill rate issues, you can very quickly break this down by item or department or even nine-digit vendor number and better understand, you know, where these fines are coming from. So uh, just like uh, carriers too, you could click into a specific um, item and pull up an OTIF scorecard for that item and view sort of that overall uh, performance over time, the trends and all of that information. So um, that is kind of the root cause analysis on OTIF. You can even create custom segments where you kind of break down, I specifically want to track this carrier to this DC, et cetera, sort of all of the uh, conditions you want to add to track performance very specifically. So, I'm gonna switch over to our SQEP solution. This is Walmart's uh, newer compliance program. They're still making changes to this, just announced uh, in the last couple of weeks, adding a couple of categories to SQEP fines. It's mostly just moving existing defects into a couple of new categories they created. So not necessarily new requirements, but sort of redistributing the existing defects into new categories. Um, so that's in progress right now with Walmart. Um, there's still potentially another SQEP phase coming in the future, um, but our dashboard here is meant to give you, again, high level visibility to what happened for 
um, a specific time period. Again, you can do multi-month or individual weeks or latest month, et cetera. We do project fines just like we do on the OTIF side, as well as kind of give you the full history of your fines um, and sort of by count as well, not just dollar amount, but by count um, to understand how your defects are trending. And then you've got kind of full breakdown into, I'll go into a month with a little more issues. And for, for that um, time period, you can see the breakdown of exactly what defects uh, affected your total scores and total fine amount. Um, so again, just very quickly understand, you know, where uh, you're getting defects and fines from. Um, and then just like the OTIF side where you've got the orders page, you've got this defects page where you can quickly dive into these different categories where you're getting fines or defects. Um, and again, understand that detailed data of what happened, um, which item may have had an issue in these case, in this case, we're showing overages here. And just like on the OTIF side, you can dive into any one of these defects and see all the details about it. You also have links to kind of learn more about these individual defects. I know SQEP has like 63 defect types um, or at least sub defect types. So it's a lot to understand and remember. So our supplier wiki team and others have you know, researched all of the information about everything uh, about all these defects so that you can learn, you know, what this is, how you can prevent it, um, and all of that information. And then I do want to share, too, that you can export this information, and we don't yet support uh, disputing these SQEP charges directly in our app, but this export that we have um, has been used by a number of our suppliers to immediately then go into high radius and submit that dispute. We have specific instructions that walks you through it. Um, so really usually sort of putting together the data is the slowest part. And so that can easily be done with a download. And then it's um, a little bit of work in high radius to actually submit the dispute. Um, but it's a once a month charge, so it's not too bad. And we've seen a lot of suppliers actually win back, uh, especially overage swept defects and fines on those as they've been proven to be invalid. Um, so, and they are just using the Excel spreadsheet that's downloaded from Supply Bike here. So you don't have to go out and get and hunt for all this extra proof documentation and of all the data you need is right here downloadable on Supply Pike. Then you can submit your disputes and hopefully get paid. Um, and then hopefully also kind of root cause maybe the legitimate scrub defects that you can actually improve on and hopefully prevent. So this is a very quick rundown of our compliance solution. Um, we're kind of in progress, like I said, of updating to Walmart's new categories that they just announced in the last week or so. Um, so that'll be out on the OTIF side. I didn't mention, but Walmart also updated their OTIF goals for this coming year. And we're in process of also updating our app to those new OTIF goals, which was 90% for prepaid on time, 95% for in full, and 98%. It remains as the goal for collect ready metric. Um, so if you hadn't heard the new goals, there they are. But uh yeah, hopefully this has been helpful as far as the idea of um, what our compliance solution looks like, how we aim to help you prevent and recover invalid fines so that you can drive these down and get, get paid. Thank you, Ryan, for leading today's webinar, and thank you all for joining. Uh, right now, we are going to do an open Q&A, uh, so if you have a question for Ryan, you can go ahead and submit that in the chat. Um, in the meantime, we did have one question come through, um, and the question is, is Disputed available to all with access, or is it a different paid option? So for any any if you if you're new to supply bike and do not currently have our solution, then disputing would be included with our sort of compliance solution. So um, yeah, you get the sort of whole package of 
prevention as well as disputing. And that should be available to you if, if you sign up. So love to have you check it out. Thank you. Okay, so while we wait just to see if any other questions uh, pop up in the chat, um, Ryan, if you could just go to the next slide. Sure. Thank you. I just wanted to share a really exciting um, upcoming webinar series that we are doing with One World Sync. In this three-part series, we will be covering IT management in the form of content creation, content management and delivery, and content optimization. The series kicks off next week, so highly encourage you to sign up. I will be sending the link um, in the chat, and we really look forward to seeing you there. Let me just okay. All right. So I didn't see any other questions pop up. If you think of a question about the product at a later time, or if you have any questions about that upcoming webinar series with One World Sync, um, please feel free to reach out to us on our email, or you can find us at supplypike.com. We would love to continue that conversation with you. And that's all we have for you guys today. Hopefully we see you soon. Bye.